We coming in real blurry, but don't worry about that. I'm about to hop up on this track and run it right back. Okay. Ready? Give me beat. Simply, simply in my husband named Lion. I ain't even playing, no, I ain't even lying. Hottest thing since hot sauce coming through. You know I'm a boss. Oh, you see how I did that? Hey guys, welcome to our new YouTube channel. Um, we have no name for it yet, so hopefully by the time you guys see this video, we will have named it, but right now we don't. I am Simply Dimply. Hi, my name is Alain. You gotta wait till I like look at you and then that's like your cue to do it. You look, she, you look, <laughs> she looked already. Okay, I am Simply Dimply, aka Courtney, and this is... Courtney is Alain, aka Courtney is... Arnell. Our hubby, our hubba, our bookie. Right? That's about it. <laughs> okay, so um, we were trying to figure out like what our first video was going to be. So we just figured we would just do like some simple interview questions and I could interview him and he can interview me. And we can like, you know, you guys can get to know us through that way. What do you like to do? Man, I like a lot of things. I like, one, I like to ride motorcycles. Two, I like fishing. I like hunting, I like basically anything outdoors. I like trying to solve problems, you know what I'm saying? Fixing things that break. Love spending time with my family. Uh, even more, love spending time with my wife. Aww. Yeah. I like, oh, I can't forget about God, number one. Yeah, because I love God. You don't love God? What's wrong with you? You know that song? I do. Oh, okay. All right, <laughs> what's your favorite part of being a dad to four beautiful girls? Two dogs and a cat. Favorite part of being a dad, honestly, in the bottom of my heart, is having the opportunity to be able to teach um, just new things. Like, I think with kids, like, kids don't really necessarily, obviously, kids don't really have much life experience. So, with me being a dad, I have a wonderful pleasure of, like, really teaching them from my perspective um, and my shortfalls and my experiences um, about life. But basically molding them to be a better, more productive person in society. Good answer, good answer. Sour or sweet? Sweet. Hot or cold? Cold. Really? Hell is hot and ain't <laughs> <laughs> The fact that that's what you thought about, but okay. Okay. Next question. Describe my personality. Uh, I think your personality is very outgoing. Um, shy in the same token. But a pleasure to be around once you get to know her. Uh, definitely life of the party. Uh, complete opposite of me, I just say that. Um, hmm, what, what else would I say to describe your personality while being appropriate? <laughs> <laughs> My mom gonna watch this. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, it's all clean. It's all, you know, it ain't nothing like that. Yeah, your mind in the wrong spot. Okay, well, you said like while being appropriate. Yeah, appropriate <laughs> professional. What attracted you to me? Alright, so what attracted me to her, honestly. So, I know I said I'm going to keep it short, but I got to tell a little bit of the story. So, here we are, me and my brother Calvin. I uh, hope you don't mind me saying his name. We was down in uh, Vero Beach, Florida uh, at J.C. Penney's. Um, and we was about to get ready to go back to school back in the day. We was buying some uh, Reeboks, right? Mm -hmm. Reeboks. In polo shirt. In the polo shirt, yeah. yeah. So, I drive down to Vero Beach. Uh, mall. Walking through JC Penney's, getting ready to check out, and I just happened to look to my left, and like far, 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 far down the way, I happened to see uh, Miss Simply Dimply right here. And then I was just like, "Hey, yo, bro, I was like, she cute, man. I'm gonna go talk to her." So he was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead." So, but when he said go ahead, I was like, "Nah, I'm straight. We'll just keep going. We'll go somewhere else." Um, and I thought about it again. I was like, "Nah, man, I ain't gonna let this opportunity pass me by, bro." He's like, "All right, man, I got you back. Let's go." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Back. Yeah. Oh, okay. But we walked down there, and like one of the biggest things that stood out to me, like, you know, Granny, she was in work clothes and all that stuff like that, so I didn't really get to see, you know, her sense of fashion and all that stuff like that. But just the simple fact that like she was working, that's a big thing for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't want a person that like I have to take care of or that's like leeching off of me or that's like that. no benefit to me for my future. Like, so, you know. Obviously, I don't go into relationships all the time thinking like, oh, you know, this is going to be the person that I marry. But just in the instance, there has to be some things that I can see, you know, for the future. Biggest regret. 
I say my biggest regret to this day, uh, above everything else. There's a lot of things I've done that I dislike, uh, but my biggest regret is like uh, before my grandfather passed, um, holding a grudge. You get what I'm saying? Over something that wasn't a conversation that I should have never heard to begin with. Um, but you know what I'm saying? I held that grudge against him, never gave him the opportunity to even fix it, and then you know what I'm saying? He ended up passing a couple weeks later. So um, I would say that's my biggest regret to this day. What's your favorite food? Uh, favorite food, favorite food, uh, you know, I don't want to say macaroni and cheese, but it's macaroni and cheese. I was going to say, if you don't say macaroni and uh, cheese, then I don't even know who you are anymore. Like, uh, I've been living with a stranger. I wanted to change it, but <laughs> that's all I got. Your favorite artist? Uh, my favorite artist. Um, and what context of artist? I guess any, any form of art, performing arts, musically, anything. I don't want to be cliche, but I'll say, you know, Jesus is my favorite artist, um, overall spectrum. Just for the simple fact that like, sometimes I look around um, and I see some of the things in nature and, you know, the way that people are formed and created. And it ain't always about beauty, it's just the differences in, that we all have. Um, and to know that, like, he created that, you get what I'm saying? That's a big thing for me. Now, when it comes to music, you know, obviously Lecrae, Tadashi, Trip Lee, you get what I'm saying? All these cats. Tupac, I know it's a whole nother different like type of music, <laughs> but hey, I'm going to be real. Tupac, yeah. I used to get down with Tupac. Um, and I just ran across NF, um, who I've been jamming for the past, what, week now, right. nonstop. So, and oh, can't forget about Andy Mineo. Oh, I'll yeah. probably keep dropping them up as, as, as I think about it. Don't. Don't, don't just like keep going like, oh, and you know, and you know, like. <laughs> And you know, all right. Bizzle. Look, see, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Hmm. Oh, ain't nothing I want to change about me. You that great, huh? No. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say my delivery, um, my patience and people skills. Like that's all one thing, though. What's that? Yes, patience. Cause sometimes, oh, yeah. sometimes. Oh yeah. my gosh. Sometimes. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> last time you cried. Uh, last time I cried was, I want to say, right before Christmas, New Year's, right around like Christmas, New Year's time. Okay, you want to share why or no? Uh, yeah, I was just like, you know, what I'm saying, really missing my mom, or whatever. So, um, you know, I just had a moment or whatever. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you have tattoos? Yeah, your boy got tattoos. How many? Seven. Hold on, wait, hold on. I got seven. Name them. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, how do I forget about this one? I don't know. Okay, yeah, way off. Seven tattoos. Okay, what brings so you? Eight. What's your next one you want? The line. Oh yeah, where? I ain't figured it out yet, that's why I ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What brings you the most joy? <clears throat> like one thing or like let, let's let's keep it down. Let's say three. Three, three things, things that bring you the most joy. No, no, no. Don't say three. It's better if it's just like the thing that brings you the most joy. Like when you find in life like you're the most happiest. I guess I'm the most happiest when I see my family happy, really, to be honest. Like if I have to like narrow it down on a small scale, obviously that would be the biggest thing. But I, you know, when I say family, I mean, you know what I'm saying, you, the kids, my brothers, um, you know what I'm saying, sisters, stuff like that. Wanna play back, see how we're doing? No, let's keep going a little bit. Okay. No, you what attracted you <laughs> to me? Um, originally, like what made me give him a number, it was the fact that he just like, he asked for it. And I know that sounds so crazy, but like down south, it's always like, Dang, mom, you look good. Like, like how you do it? Have my bag. What's up for me? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> like all of that. Like, dang, girl, can like it got they gotta jump through hoops just to talk to you. I like the fact that he came over there. Like he wasn't thirsty, as the young folks will call it. It was just like I already had my drink. Whatever. I had a ring on because I used to love like accessories and stuff. I had a ring on, and he was like, "Are you married?" So I laughed because I was like. No, like I'm only 15, and then he was like, um, "What'd you say?" He was like, "No, I'm serious. You have a ring on." I said, so, "I said, what's funny?" Yeah, he was like, "What's funny?" Like serious face. It's always like super serious. What's funny? You have a ring on, so I thought you were married. So I was like, "Okay." So 
I think it was the fact that one, I like the fact that if he thought I was married, he would have respected that and I assume like not try to talk to me. So, and then two, it was just the fact that it was like, can I get your number to call you sometimes? Like I said, it was no extra stuff. Hot or cold? Hot. <laughs> Sweet. I mean, just because I'm anemic, so I don't like to be cold. So when I think hot and cold, I don't think for the reasons you went like all the way to the extreme. You went zero to 100 real quick. I'm just thinking I don't like to be cold. So I'd rather be hot before I be cold. I mean, even without hell, I still don't want to be hot just because like... Mm, Florida, baby. I'd rather be hot all day than cold. You know, if I had a, a choice, I'd rather just be, you know, in the middle. Lukewarm. <laughs> Sour or sweet? Sweet. Red or pink? Pink. Oh, why did I say pink? I'm not even a pink uh, girl. Oranges or apples? Apples. Favorite part of being a mom? Oh my gosh, you guys, there are so many. Like, I'm not even trying to be like corny, but literally the moment, like, my first words to all three of my biological daughters were like, you are so perfect. It's just the idea that like, I think marriage is huge, but I think that parenting is one of the biggest things that a person can do in their life. Just because, like he said, it's this small, tiny person that you birthed and you carried inside of you. And it's just a matter of you're responsible for All that. Right. What do you like most about being a wife? Ooh, what do I like most about being a wife? Or my wife. About being your wife, not anybody's wife, but mm. your wife. <laughs> um... I think it would just be the like the bond and the friendship aspect of it. Just because marriage, like I always tell everybody, anybody who knows me and has had a conversation with me about marriage, like the the bubbly butterfly feeling, like that can come and go. Like he can come home from work aggravated one day or I can come and be aggravated one day and that can come and go. But when you're friends, like it's just different. And I love the fact that like in marriage, I feel like you have everything. Like you're raising kids, you're doing finances, you're doing life, you're hustling, you're working. And then at the end of all that, it's just being able to say like, this is my person. Who would you consider your best friend? DJ. That's my DJ. DJ. Go DJ. Uh, that's my DJ. <laughs> Doris Jefferson. That is my sister, my friend, my love, my baby mama. Like she is all of that in one. I'm telling y'all, she is like, all that in a bag of chips. She's just, she's my heart. Talk to her almost every day. And we are the, I always mess this up. We're the godparents of their kids and they're the godparents of our kids. So anybody that you can ask, like if something happened to me, would you take care of all four of my kids? You know they're a good person. Because the average would be like, mm, I don't know about that. Yeah. Well, hey, listen, uh, follow me on Snapchat, Quinnish. Uh, dash line. When I say dash, I mean by the little tag mark. Yeah, I'll um, link it below too. All yeah, this stuff. Everything will be linked at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, also, we got Facebook. What else you got? Insta Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. I don't do stuff. Twitter. That's pretty much it. Yeah. I, I can't figure I out how to tweet. tweet. <laughs> I yeah. feel silly saying that, but I really can't figure out how to tweet. I think that's what we need to be, to be honest. Like Twitter? Yeah. Really? Yeah, everybody on Twitter. I don't know. Maybe, okay, one of y'all comment below and tell me how to work Twitter. And then we'll get a Twitter. I legitimately like have tried it twice and cannot yeah. figure out how to do it. So link it below. Let me know how it works and then we'll do it. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I have another channel too. My makeup channel that I'll put below. Um, we're just trying to kind of branch off and do different things. Spread positivity other than, you know, all this mindless stuff that we see a lot of times. So, yeah. Until next time, you guys be nice to each other. Be nice to yourself. And spread a lot of love. Remember that you're important. You know what I'm saying? Remember that if nobody loves you, God loves you. That's right. Mwah. It'll edit itself out. Mm -hmm. Yeah,